Hi everyone and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see how you can define and implement custom alerts in Matomo Analytics. So let's get started. Okay, so in a previous video I was showing you about uh, how to define goals and what is really interesting in, in these previous videos I made, I was showing you how you can implement goals thanks to the preview and debug mode of Google Tag Manager. And the thing is that I was using the preview mode and uh, I did not publish the tag. And as a result, this is what you can see here on uh, June the 1st, I did not have any goals which were recorded because those were thanks to the preview mode. Uh, this means that actually the container wasn't published. So in fact, my goals were not recorded at all. And then when I looked at the conversion on uh, Sunday in the morning, I could not see any conversion. And then I realized that I made a mistake and that I did not publish the container. And this use case is very interesting because it shows that uh, there is something uh, lacking within my working methodology. And this something which is lacking is the implementation of custom alerts. And if I would have defined custom alerts on this given day, I would have been informed either this given day or either this one or either on a weekly or monthly basis that the goal have not yet been published on the website. So here, clearly I can just add my uh, annotation over here in order to say, okay, uh, I mean, over here in order to say, okay, here on this given day, I just uh, published the goal implementation. So I can just correct and make this uh, known to the whole team. So I corrected uh, the goal implementation and, and published the container. Okay, so that's really important. Always use annotation because that's useful. What we're gonna see right now is then the custom alert. So the custom alert, as you can see, is not activated by default in Matomo Analytics. This is a plugin that you need to add. So you need to click over here on plugin and then you need to find it out. So I'm just gonna type alerts over here. And as you can see, it's not included within the default a version of Matomo. So you're going to have to pick it up over here on the marketplace. So you just need to look for it. So just go for alert and then you validate. And normally if I'm lucky enough, yes, I get the custom alert. So now I can uh, try to install it and I can activate it. So let's, let's try to be lucky, activate plugin. That's great. Seems like it works. And as you can see now, I have the alerts on. So I can click on it and then I can start to create my alerts. So in order to define the alerts, what I strongly recommend you to do is to define them on paper. Okay, so as their name stands for it, custom alerts are here in order to receive the, uh, an email or an SMS in order to tell you that a given uh, metric reach a specific threshold. So in my case, um, I want actually to define three different custom alerts because they are uh, kind of very famous. So that's the one that most of analysts are using. I'm going to define one uh, which is uh, really customized because it corresponds to the need that I just expressed, which is to receive an email every time that the number of goals is uh, very low. So it means that here probably the implementation of my goal have been uh, destroyed and I want to be noticed about it. So it could happen, for example, if someone is playing with the website and change the template, for example, and as my goal are using the template of uh, the given WordPress website, it may break. So that's why I want to create a custom alert for this. I want to give a name which is very explicit to my alert because when I read the name of the alert, I want to understand what is behind. So here, for example, um, I'm not 100% sure that it's going to be an issue, but I suspect that it is. So that's why I put two question mark. Then uh, add a description to your custom alert. So uh, it indicates if no goals have been recorded on a given week. The reason why I choose on a given week is that if I look at the data which are recorded by Matomo for this given website, I will realize that actually the number of goals is kind of low on some days. And as a result, I don't want, for example, to have the customer alert to uh, alert me on the 24th of December if no one is on the website. So that's why I prefer to define it 
on a weekly basis. So that's why I'm choosing given week here. Here the condition is on a weekly uh, basis. If zero goals are recorded, then I want to receive an email. And when we define a custom alert, I strongly uh, recommend you to have within your analytics spec document to define what is the next action because here you're going to receive an email based on this condition but of course if you do not act on your website probably nothing's going to happen so here the next action i'm defining it is okay uh, if no goal are being recorded on the website then i'm going to check uh, matomo and see if goals are still activated they are still on and i will probably double check that the source code have not been changed and here i just had a comments field now to say okay if on a weekly basis i'm receiving too many emails because few people are converting i want to change the frequency and put it uh, to a monthly frequency then another custom alert name that i can uh, give is the not found pages too high so this uh, custom alert is very common within the analytics world it consists in receiving an email when the number of 404 is too high and here in fact i looked at the websites of course um, the basic idea is to have a website which has zero not found pages but it may not happen because um, some websites are very big and as they are very big some url may be broken from time to time or at least there are some internet uh, user who are here in order to create some fake url and it's breaking uh, the website so here in order to check that out i just type uh, a fake URL, I get this page which is loaded and as a result I can check uh, within uh, Matomo what are, so I'm just going to go uh, over, uh, over here in page title and just going to double check if the name of this page is recorded as it is in Matomo so in my case it's just found in French and as you can see yes that's the correct name of the page title so that's what I'm going to define here uh, as a condition is when there's a page title which is called page not trouvé which stands for page not found which is higher than 10 page view and the reason why I want to put it at more than 10 page view is that if I look uh, let's say on a yearly basis over here and I see that yes so if I go over here um, and I go over here and I just type found I get the evolution in fact of my not found pages and as you can see if I go on a daily basis over here I will see that the maximum that they got was like seven page view and it seems that actually uh, the webmaster is still not correcting the, the URL because and I looked at those given URL they were not um, they were created by internet user, right? That's what I did over here. You can easily create a segment for that and see what are the URL that uh, are uh, 404. And as you can see, those are all uh, fake uh, URLs. So they are coming from somewhere. And as a result, I want to put the threshold at, um, at about 10 because it never happened in the life of the website. So as it never happened, probably when it will reach those given 10 page views, I want to be notified because there's probably something which is going wrong on the website and the next action if it is I want to check uh, which pages are concerned so that's why I created this not found segment and uh, I will look at the page URL report as I just show you in order to know what is the list of the page URL and if I see in some of them uh, some which are of URL which are legitimate then I know that this is uh, critical so I need to report to uh, the nonprofit organization that the website is uh, broken and then I can create another alert which is that the website or Matomo is down so here on small I precise with question mark if this statement is um, is true or not so in my case I'm just putting some uh, question mark because I suspect that the website or Matomo is down but it could be possible that the website is not receiving any visits at all on a given day so here the idea is to I uh, received an email if the number of visits is below 10 and I do it on a daily frequency. And the thing here is a bit like the not found pages. I'm going to look at the graph and if the graph uh, is receiving at minimum uh, a certain amount of visit, I will uh, put my uh, threshold accordingly. So in my case, for example, the website always received more than 10 visits. So um, if I put it below 10, probably it means that the website is broken. Okay, so uh, now it's done, I mean on paper. So now I can start to implement it on the Matomo. I don't say that uh, this is perfect, but at least you have a minimum of strategy here 
So of course, that's the kind of thing that you are discussing with your team in order to know if the name are well written, if the naming convention is the one that you wanted. But here in my case, I'm on my own, so no one's going to contest what I'm doing, I hope. So uh, goal tracking issue. So that's the name of my first alert. As I said, it's going to be on a weekly basis. I don't want it to be sent to my personal email address. I want it to be sent to my uh, so I wish it could be sent to Floss Marketing School, but anyway, I have the feeling that if I tick this checkbox here, it's going to send it to uh, both emails. So I'm going to tick this one anyway. Um, and then here we want um, the alert to be about the goals. So I'm just going to go over here and select the goals. Okay, goals. There I am. So uh, when the number of conversion is less than is less than one, is it what I define? Uh, weekly frequency uh, when the condition can I do equals greater? No, I cannot do an equal, so that's why I'm putting it's less than one. So if the number of conversion is less than one, then I want to receive um, an email about it. So that's one alert which is defined on its weekly basis so i'm happy okay now let's go for the not found pages too high so same thing i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna say okay that's the not found pages too high it's on a daily basis i want to receive an email because that's important and it's about page title this time so it's when the page title equal not found so i'm just gonna go over here and click on page title then match uh, what does it match it is is um, no, it's equals. It's equal. Uh, contains in my case. Uh, was it? Did it contains because um, in my measurement plan I didn't pick up the full uh, sentence. I just picked the first part, so that's why I put contains. And I prefer contains anyway. So you see here, I will expect actually to find the equals page not trouvé web source, but I just feel more comfortable if I have a contents. Uh, page views is less than, so in my case, it's the number of page views, which is higher than 10 page views. So here it means that I'm getting more not fan pages than most of the time. So it's greater than 10. Uh, in any cases, if the alert is not right, you will uh, receive uh, probably an email because the opposite condition that you define is going to be true. So in my case, I will receive an email if the number of not found pages is uh, less than 10. So that's great uh, because it will uh, double check my work and I will, of course, adjust it the day after and it doesn't harm the website, just an email which is sent. Okay, and here is the third, the third custom alert so it's on a daily basis it's sent it to me and the alert condition in my case is if the number of visits so i can pick up the visit summary um number of visits is less than and we're gonna just pick up the condition is below 10 okay below 10 and that's it um you just define actually right now all the different alerts so um here it's a good system if they are not uh, notifying you that much on the midterm, on the short term, it probably means if they have been well defined that there are massive issues within your website, that your tracking code is not consistent, that your Matomo is going down because of several issues or your website is just going down because of your web hosting platform. And of course that uh, you are creating some um, uh, 404, at least you are getting some attacks from internet visitors. And that's it uh, for today regarding custom alerts. So if you just had to keep in mind a couple of things, is just put it on paper, because if you just uh, do it them uh, right away within Matomo, you may forget uh, to do something and you may not have the good logic behind. So always work on paper like I like I did because it helps you uh, put all your ideas on. And uh, yes, if you would like to uh, practice a little bit, feel free to implement uh, the custom alerts for your own website and um, of course draft your own ideas on, on paper. Once more, thanks for watching and do not hesitate to share. Thank you.